Now, are you like me, where it comes to forestry, that you're terrible at loading logs? Because I am. I'm really bad. And, it, you know, it's, it's part of the game, obviously, and you do make a fortune from it. Well, I'm going to show you how I've started doing it. And, yeah, it's not the prettiest, but it certainly probably is the easiest. So what you're going to need is to get yourself a trailer. Log trailer, how they do you know anyone it's not particularly this one it's just one I've got at the minute you know you could use one that's on the back of a truck and you'll see why maybe the one on the back of the truck might be a little bit better but we're gonna use this one anyway so what I do is just pull up like that get it all lined up like so so when we get out we'll get our trusty train saw out and then what you need to do is you need to cut it so it falls onto the trailer and basically you need to cut it so you cut it like that the chainsaw is going to go through the tree like that and the tree is going to fall that way if you add it the other way around chainsaw is going to go cut it cut that way and then the tree is going to fall that way so the tree will fall whichever way you're cutting so we'll spin it around you will line it up like that so yeah it's pretty square on so we'll just get at the 90 degree angle and do it like that so chop through there we are it's gonna go through it's then gonna fall in jobs are good in int <laughs> look it doesn't look the best I must admit so it goes into the chapter uh, into the trailer like that so we'll strap it down what we're also gonna do is just trim it off so always you know that looks a bit dodgy going up there so you just come up the tree like that like you normally would do Obviously, making sure you don't you don't fall off. Giving away all the branches like that. Just being careful not to actually chop the tree itself. There we are, that's better. So just taking it easy because once it gets up to the top, obviously it's a little narrow. And you will end up falling off. Although, to be fair, those aren't coming off the end. All right, that'll do. That'll be all right. So then once you've got that on there, all you do is just drive around. I mean, that is on the side a little. So if you wanted to, you just turn around like that. And then we'll unstrap it. We should be able to get it up onto the roof. Strap it down like that. No, it's not having it. Anyway, you should be able to get it through somewhere like that. Obviously, take it to wherever you need to take it, and then hit the sow wood icon. Obviously, you do need to be a bit careful going around certain areas, because if we go around here like this, I'll show you what I mean. If you go around like that, <laughs> you get stuck. So you do need to be a bit careful with it, but it is doable. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could chop that end bit off, and everything could be nice. But, all right, we've got another solution. Now, we've got these three trees here left like that now i've just placed these down out of the shop menu out of the the construction menu shall we say so if we go into there like that in the construction under landscaping and then under trees these are the ones second from the end i think it's large pine there we are so just place that down like that there we are and what you can also do if you've got a sawmill so we've got up to the production chain i'm going to place one down doesn't have to be this specific one I'm just going to do it anyway I'm going to place this sawmill down obviously you need your loading in point like that so if we just place the sawmill down somewhere along that I mean if you already had the sawmill there what you do is just place the trees alongside it fair enough and just do the same get the chainsaw out again obviously you want to aim for the actual loading in point so that one's sort of like on that angle so we spin around 90 degrees to that turn that like that then chop it so that's the first one done that's going to fall in that vicinity so i'm going to do the same with this one slightly less of an angle so we'll just come around the side like that chop that one down Like so again same with this one so a bit of a different angle mind you but 
you get the idea behind it all. You're basically just cutting it so they fall into where the area is that you want it to go. So that one's going to go into there like that. And we'll do the last one. So that's sort of there. We'll spin it around like that. Shut that one down. Right, so we've now got all four trees where we want them to be. So we'll just come over to the Salwood icon. <laughs> Chops are good. Look at that. 7,821 litres of wood loaded into the sawmill. Didn't even have to use a trailer. Jobs are good. And I mean, don't get me wrong. This one on the trailer at the back here, a little bit precarious, I must admit. But, you know, if you're chopping trees down in an area that you haven't got your sawmill there, or, you know, you've got a bit of a forest on the go, yeah, a li little bit more precarious, shall we say. But once you've got it there, we'll just come over here like that, like you normally would do. We'll jump out. Hit the salwood icon. And it's gone. There you are. That's like, what, five trees to put in there? 9,757 litres of wood gone into that sawmill. Piece of cake. No forestry equipment needed apart from the trailer on the back with the forks, mind you. But, you know, no... No tree chopping down, no tree harvesters, no cranes, nothing like that. Job done. I mean, yeah, it's not forestry as would normally happen, but chopping the trees down straight onto the tractor. You know, don't work harder, work smarter. That's my motto anyway. Right, so that's it. That's how I do logging at the minute, because I find that's the easiest way. Drop it in the comments below. What do you find the easiest way of doing logging is? We'll see what people are doing. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, it's muchly appreciated. But from me, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one.